Hey guys, this is Poet Spice Jam and Lola Talula. So, I am doing another episode of Diamond Heart Darlings, where we are using our diamond press products, our heartfelt creations, or our little darlings from. Okay, so cuteness. So, I pulled out this really old set, and it is diamond press. And then I also use some of my crafters companion papers from like back in the day. So, basically, it creates this little mini kind of card, and you've got these flowers and so forth. And then you get a second flower over here. And then, of course, you can mix them as much as you want to. So, here's this little piece here, and you can see the flower this way. And let me turn it to the other one so you can see that one. And then you have this flower. So now the problem with this, and I think they have solved because like I said, this is an old one. I think they've solved this problem now in other releases. They only give you one die here. So in order to get it to match, you actually have one side that has the die cut the right way. And then the other side doesn't. It happens this way with several of their other... Um, dies that they have like this um so basically all i did was just take it and i cut it the other way so if you alternate it you really can't tell too much unless you're really paying attention and then of course you always get some stamps well most of the time you get stamps so i use some of these and we'll just put them back in there one piece here so i thought that was fun to just pull out this set because it is old and make a tiny little card so I made two because I started cutting and of course you know once I start cutting I can't stop <laughs> so I had purple paper sitting here so I have this dusty blue purple okay so you can see how this works so you have the card and basically you fold it it cuts this so you fold it gatefold style and then you have your flower and you put together so I'll just show it really close so see how you have the die cut the right way and then you have to cut it the opposite way because if you don't then it doesn't match up um, it's not too bad if you use double-sided paper that's the same because you actually could just turn it the other way and then adjust it but in general you you can't so see like the white has to be so what I did I just, for each layer, I just went and alternated it. So this side, you can see how this side is done properly. And then this one is properly. And then the one underneath it is done. So you can just alternate it that way. Then there's some of the little leaves. I had some out of my stash, these liquid pearls. So I pulled those out and I used that. And then on the inside, you just open it and it just says, just because. And this is one of, this was from another diamond press set that I had sitting on my desk and then these leaves go with that so I did that one and then I did like a one with more like a red purple so you've got this one it says hello sunshine and both of these stamps are from the set and then you can see this again so see how here it's the right side is actually that piece but that's not what you want and then that one so you just alternate it and you could do some more like curling up and whatever and then on the inside, I had pieces left over, so I went ahead and done, you know, I went ahead and uh, lined, this is what I was trying to say, this. And then I just put the extra flower that I had there, and then I'll make a little message there too. So those are just two little cards from that. And let me see, I'll measure it for you. It is roughly, it's slightly less than three, like two and maybe like, seven eighths by like three and seven eighths or 16 actually it's more like 15 16 but we'll just say seven eighths three and seven eighths and yeah so it's a small card but you it's just so cute so cute so those are two diamond press items thanks for watching and go check out the other ladies don't forget to play along